Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is going to be about how to how to save time in your laser on your runtime by reducing some cut lines. So if you had a this is a name tag that's 1.25 by 4.88, it's just a generic. And if you wanted to, let's say your piece of wood is right here at four inches. Let's make it four or negative four. So there's, there's as much wood as we can get. And that's about as close as you can get to the top. So if we wanted to control D and then move that down and control D, you're going to get them all three on that four inch piece of wood equally, but it's going to cut this line twice because of the fact that there's two lines there. So the way around that would be to do this. Let me delete all these. So if you have your snap to objects and snap to guidelines set, when you move this object around, I've got another copy there. Well, I didn't mean to grab the line. Grab the object. It's going to snap. That node right there is going to snap right to it. Right to that guideline. And the same thing over here. You can just move your other guideline until it says node. Now you're right on that corner of that node. So what we're going to do, and what's so neat about this, and if you ever want to grab just the text, just grab this, move it out of the way, and then when you move it back, it's going to tell you you're in the center of your name tag. So to save time in your laser, let's group all the, or not group it, just but lasso it, make a duplicate of it, and let's move it down twice. Now, you get your virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Now, grab it all and just move it up. Control D and make a duplicate and move it down. Now you've got three name tags on this, but that line is only going to cut one time. So then you're asking, well, how would you change the names? Well, you would just go down here, click on your text, go up to your edit text and just retype a new name hit enter so I had more than one copy there let's, let's do this go up here and edit the text So now, and you can do the same thing to the third one. So your name's going to be in the center of the name tag, and you've gotten more name tags on a piece of wood than you'd had before. Because if you space these out a little bit, so like a normal name tag, so let's just do that. We've got them on there. Let's delete this. Let's go Control D. Let's move it down. Control D and see it's off the page because if you didn't have many further apart when it cuts that line twice it's going to mess you up. I really think this is going to be helpful so thank you for watching and hope that helped.